Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I've experimented with dry baking quite a bit over time here on the channel. Basically using a heat source, traditionally like an alcohol stove, but anything, any kind of a flame on a dry metal box, something that basically you can close up and allow the heat to build up inside of it and you're able to bake goods with that. And the problem is usually not scorching the bottom. Well, I recently came across a pretty interesting product that has what seems to be a fairly cult following online, the Omnia Oven. So let's check it out and see if we can dry bake a pizza today, or in this case, a calzone, and see if it works. Thanks for watching, guys. The company Omnia, as you can see right here, based out of Sweden, makes a simple, stove top oven that comes in three parts. I'll show you guys. I did buy this little carrying case. Probably didn't need it, but it was on like sale for like 10 bucks or something. Here's the actual stove. Like I said, there's three parts. Underneath is the stainless steel base, and you have the actual pan, which is the bottom and the top. Kind of looks like a bunt pan, you might say. What happens is you put this stainless steel base on your burner, and when you put this on top of it, like that, the heat will shoot up through this hole, and then when you put the top on, it'll kind of just spread out and bake the top. So you have heat on the bottom, and then as the heat comes up and it bounces off the top and goes to the sides like this from that center hole, it basically acts like an oven. The base keeps the direct heat off of the actual uh, substance that you're cooking, and there's other ways you can go about that as well. Pan is eight inches in diameter and two and three quarter inches tall, including the knob, it's five and a half inches total. The weight is 1.1 ounces. It's made out of, like I said, stainless steel for the base and aluminum for the rest of the stove. It holds about two quarts, so it's a pretty high volume piece of kit. Price is $67. Now, I also bought a couple of accessories. You already saw the storage bag. Usually it's $20. I got it on sale for nine bucks. You can also get this little baking grid, it fits right on this little ledge right here. You see there's a little ledge, so you put that on there, and this also will keep food up off the bottom and prevent scorching. That, by the way, is $15, and then the silicone mold I splurged for is $25. This is great for, for example, if you're baking, you know, whatever. Nothing will stick to the silicone mat, basically, so you can put anything in there and it really is gonna work well. This also keeps it from scorching, so both this and this helps keep the bottom of whatever you're baking up off the ground and minimizes the chance that you're gonna burn the bottom. Now, I bought a thermometer to use, but I ended up just using my regular probe thermometer and putting it straight through one of these holes and it works just fine. That is the Omnia oven. Now the company has a pretty good website and they have several really nice looking um, recipes. I think the biggest thing is the heat source, what your particular heat source is, in my case it's gonna be a Coleman hyper flame stove. You want to get used to it and try several different recipes with your stove. You have to get the feel of how much heat your stove puts out and how that affects your Omnia oven. After a few test runs, I found that you really can uh, adjust the temperature and get the baking temperature to be very consistent. Once you adjust it, and it reaches kind of that steady state of temperature. It really doesn't move a lot. So you can really dial in your baking temperature and keep it pretty stable, at least with my stove. So we're gonna try to make a pepperoni calzone today. We're gonna start inside prepping our calzone, then we're gonna take it outside and see how it turns out.
Now, as they say in many things, the possibilities are endless with this Omnia oven. You want a, a nice tasty cake, you can, you can bake that. You want some cornbread, you can, you can bake that. Any kind of a biscuit, you could just lay it inside, you can bake that. Muffins, scones, quiche for breakfast, go for it. These are all things that are fairly difficult to cook on the cooktop. But since this is an oven that sits on your cooktop, you can bake them really easily. Like I said, there seems to be a little bit of a cult following and I can understand why it really works. You can try all kinds of different things. I, one of the things I think is best is you can make a lot of casseroles. If you make like a spaghetti and meatball casserole, then you just put the spaghetti and meatballs inside there, put cheese all over the top of it and bake it kind of like a lasagna. Give it 20 minutes, it gets nice and gooey. You can't beat it. It's also nice because it's pretty big and you can make a big serving. So if you have a family of four or six people, you can easily feed them with this one item. You know, cooking on large volume in small kitchens like in an RV kitchen or, or outdoors can be a little challenging. This allows you to make plenty of food with no problems at all. If you function in a kitchen without an oven, like I said, an RV, a tiny home, any place where you really just don't have access to a traditional oven, this will work. You have to adapt your recipes a little bit, but a little bit of forethought if you're a person who likes to cook. It won't be hard at all to adapt your recipes to work with the Omni Oven. Now, it's not the cheapest product in the world, and you can put a little bit of money into it whenever you add these accessories. But if you're going to be using it a lot, and it's going to be a staple every day in something that you use to cook for your family or for just you on the road, it's well worth the money. It takes a basic a uh, stove like I have from Coleman and really makes it into a portable oven. Very well worth the money when you look at the functionality that you gain by purchasing this product. Bottom line is it works. So if you're gonna spend the money, you wanna spend the money on something that works. You guys have any ideas? What would you suggest that I cook? Do you wanna see me cook more on the Omnia oven? If you do, leave comments down below. If you have specific recipes you want me to try out, throw it out there. Maybe I'll throw a couple of extra videos. One of the things I'm thinking about doing I let out my videos now on Mondays and Thursdays, but I can make some short videos, throw them out there. It's not good for the algorithm, but who cares, right? Some short videos of just things that you guys want. So if you want another recipe on the Omnia oven, let me know. Do me a big favor, guys. It really does help if y'all hit the thumbs up down below if you like this video. It tells me that you really like it and this is the kind of content you want me to push forward with. Um, I guess if you don't like it, you can hit the thumbs down. It's fine, you can hit the thumbs down. My big boy. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell and you will be the first to know. Really cool product. I, a lot of times I just spend time kind of searching Amazon, looking for interesting things. I have a bunch of course, you know, lists of things that I want to look at. Basically, when we had an RV, this would have been awesome because the oven itself really heats up the RV. And if you live down south like I do, even cooking dinner in the oven could be a major problem because it just heats up the RV and then the kids get like it's hot dad and everybody gets in a bad mood. You can cook this outside, just get yourself a nice little burner like I have and you can bake whatever you want for you and your family. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.